Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Caterpillars Digging Into History. I'm your host, Rusty Dunn. None of this would be possible without my friend and colleague, Lee Fosberg, manager of Caterpillars Corporate Archives. Lee, great to see you. Good to see you again, Rusty. Thanks for being out here. You know, you and I have traveled a lot during our adventures, and we've done a mm -hmm. fair bit of driving, too. Here's why we're outside today. It's a little chilly, but mm -hmm. it's great, and it's important that we're here because just behind us, not too far away, is the original footprint of the Holt Manufacturing mm -hmm. Company, of course, the precursor to Caterpillar. Running just to the other side of us is something called Farm Creek, which is what we'll talk about here in just a minute. And then a couple of miles away, something called Highway 116. But early on, 100 years ago, mm -hmm. Highway 116 was known as the Caterpillar Trail. And this was a five-mile stretch of road sort of nestled along the Illinois River between Peoria and East Peoria. And this little five-mile stretch was sort of foundational to Caterpillar becoming the, the, the global earth-moving giant that it is today. Give us the backstory here on what we call the Caterpillar Trail. So think about this, 100 years ago, 1916, a man named Murray Baker had an idea to build a road for the city of East Peoria. He knew that they didn't have the funding to do it. He also knew with the advent of the automobile, there's gonna be more and more requests to build roadways. So he approached the mayor of East Peoria and the job started. Isn't it amazing? Murray Baker not only convinced them to come relocate to uh, Central Illinois in the Midwest to, to build machines, but also we need the Caterpillar Trail as well. So what did he embark on? He knew everybody mm -hmm. uh, in the area, started raising mm -hmm. funds and, and to sell the idea. Yeah, first of all, he had Holt engineers kind of draw where, you know, where the road would start, where it would end, how it would be built. He pitched that and you know they enthusiastically were on board with this, right? This would be a big thing for the community. And where you really saw this kind of gain momentum, right, is not only did Holt people work on the project, but you had people in the community volunteer. They wanted to be part of it. They wanted to build this road. And also strategically to demonstrate then the versatility of the products. What better way mm -hmm. to have a, than to have a project like this to show off? Yeah, well, you think about it. It was a community project, but right for Holt, they could show that actually these new machines, which were originally built for agricultural purposes, could be part of building roads. But what kind of machines are we talking about then that were out here mm -hmm. starting to do that work? Well, these were early track type tractors, right? It wasn't in, even until 1908 that Holt made a gasoline track type tractor. So the first one was a Holt 60 and the other two were Holt 75s. They were cutting edge technology for Holt at that time. So the machines are staged, the work is ready to start. When did it get underway? And what was the uh, reaction like when this all got started? Oh, I mean, there was an excitement, right? And all these people were working on the project. And you think about it, so the people of East Peoria, they were the ones, they were like, let's call this the Caterpillar Trail in honor of what Caterpillar did for them. That's excellent. How long did the actual work take? When was the trail completed? It was literally a little less than two years. It was built in, you know, it was starting to be used in 1918. It essentially was a path, Rusty, that maybe a horse could go down, right? Yeah. So they had to widen this. They took gravel out of the creek that's right by where we're standing. Because you remember, they, it, you didn't have blacktop then. It, this was essentially a gravel and cinder road um, that really then kind of grew past that five mile run and runs along the, the Illinois River today. Over a century ago, mm -hmm. a big sense of community pride, big uh, source of Caterpillar pride, whole yes. pride is, as well. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, we're still referencing it uh, a century later, but a lot of people would have no idea today. No, I mean, right, is. a lot of people wouldn't know they're driving on top of you know a very important piece of CAD history. Maybe the first road, right, that was constructed by cat machinery. The beautiful Caterpillar Trail. Well, that's a mm -hmm. fascinating story. Mm -hmm. Lee, another successful dig into the history here at the company. We appreciate it. Thanks again, Rusty. And we appreciate all of you watching more Digging Into History episodes to come. For Lee, I'm Rusty. Go out, be safe in everything you do. Have a great day.